let us do the second type of quasi experimental design which is called time series design time series take measures for an extended period before and after an intervention or we can say that there are a series of observation for each participant before a treatment and a series of observation after the treatment which means that we go for different observations before the treatment and then we go for different observations after the treatment so in normal experimental design where we have only one pretest or only one observation and then we go for treatment and then post test in a time series design we go for a number of pretest or we would say a number of pre observations and then we go for our in our intervention or the treatment and then we go again for a number of post test or a number of different observations the symbolic representation for time series design is that we have the first observation then we have the second observation then we have the third observation then the fourth observation so these are the different observations or the different pretest before our treatment and then after taking different data before our treatment then we finally introduced our treatment which is here t or the intervention program and then again after the treatment we go for different post tests so we take o5 the fifth observation and then the sixth observation then the seven and then the eight so this is how a time series design would look like now the number of measures can vary and is not limited to four as you can see that in this particular sequence i have introduced treatment after four observations and then there are four post observations but it is not necessary that we should have four observations before the treatment we may have two observations or we may have three observations or we may have 10 observations and similarly it is not necessary that we have equal number of observations on either side we may have four observations before the treatment and we may have five observations or six observations or even less than four observation for example two or three observations after the treatment so the number of measures or observations before and after intervention pre and post intervention may also not be the same they may be different but we just take the different number of observations before we introduce treatment and again we go for different observations after the treatment remember more the more is our observations the more the data points the better our result would be let us do an example to understand the time series design so it's a research on having a one month anti smoking campaign in a campus and to see whether this anti smoking campaign was effective or not and suppose that our intervention or the treatment includes the persuasion techniques where the different smokers are being involved in peer counseling or they are shown different kind of videos to help them quit smoking so in a simple experimental design we would go only for pre test or measuring the smoking behavior a week before and then we introduce the intervention and then we take a post test which tells us about the smoking behavior a week after so this is a normal simple experimental design but if we are to perform this in a time series design then this experiment would look like this so we would start with taking several measures before introducing our intervention program and then we will introduce our treatment and again after the treatment we will continue for taking different measures or different observations after our treatment program so let us suppose that we decided to take measurement after every one month therefore before our intervention or before our anti smoking campaign which is the intervention here the researcher has performed six observations before the intervention and all these observations are taken after every one month so this is the first month then o2 is the pre test or the finding the smoking behavior in the second month then the smoking behavior in the third month and so on we have the smoking behavior in the six months so this is how we have taken the different measures before introducing our campaign then we have the intervention program or our anti smoking campaign that continued for one month and then we have the post observations 
or you can see the post test so after one month we have the first post test then in the eighth month we have again the second post test or the post observation and similarly we continue this for the next six months so now we have more data points and therefore this will help us in concluding more about the effectiveness of our treatment program so as there is no control group now there is only one group involved but because we are taking different measurements different series points therefore these taking different series points is helping us to reduce the threat to internal validity which is occurring due to maturation or instrumentation or history let us see if we have these four kind of possible graphs obtained from this particular experiment so if we look at the first graph and let's suppose that c is our campaign or our intervention so it is basically coming here in the middle and let us suppose these are the four data points which are taken before the, our campaign or our intervention or the treatment plan and then we have the four observation after the treatment or the anti-smoking campaign but we can see that even before the smoking campaign the data points are on the fall which means that the smoking attitude is re reducing or falling and after the treatment it is still falling therefore this graph is not helping us to understand the time series design as this graph is continuously showing a decrease in the smoking attitude even before the, the treatment plan if we look at this graph where c is the campaign here and we have the data points here so we can see from this graph that after introducing the campaign there is a small reduce in the smoking attitude or the behavior then it was steady for some time and again the smoking attitude was rising so this is the information from this graph let us suppose if we obtain this kind of graph then we can see that here on the campaigning point where c is here so we can see from this graph that after the treatment there is a decrease in the smoking attitude and again there is a rise in the smoking attitude and again a fall but if we look before the treatment we can also see the same kind of rise and fall here which means there is a general trend of rise and fall in the smoking attitude therefore this graph is of no help to us again and this is not producing the right result if we look at this graph which is the fourth one so we can see that after the campaigning there is a reduce in the smoking attitude and then we can see a gradual decrease in the smoking attitude and then that smoking attitude has become constant so this graph is rightly depict, depicting our COSI experimental findings or results that before the treatment or the intervention program or the campaign the smoking attitude was higher but after our introduction of treatment there was a reduction in the smoking attitude and then the smoking attitude becomes steady or constant so this is how we interpret the graph and try to find the different meanings from the result one of the advantage of time series design is that it helps us to understand the trend to look at the trend to look at the graph and find the different types of patterns from the graph that is occurring with the passage of time the second advantage of time series design is that it checks for threat to internal validity so all the threats such as maturation instrumentation and history are checked or reduced because of the time series design so the first is because there is no random assignment therefore the groups are non-equivalent and because of this non-equivalent groups we have the individual differences between the groups which may affect our experiment so the confounding variables like iq social economic status the motivation level the attitude level the age the gender the habits all these kind of confounding variables may affect our experiment and therefore will provide us with different alternative explanation about the result secondly when we have two groups involved in cosi experimental design then the influence of history cannot be ruled out so the history effect will differ both the groups differently and because of the history effect in different groups or with different individuals we may have different outcomes for the two variables so we may be thinking that the effect was due to the treatment 
However, the, the difference may be because of the different history effects that both the groups experience.